Namaste and welcome to Nari Talk, the show that gives you everything you need to overcome your limitations and live your best life. How to stop comparing yourself to others? and focus on what truly matters. One of the worst habits we have as human beings is the scourge of comparing ourselves to other people. Focusing on what they have, what they look like and what they've achieved in comparison to ourselves. Now you can blame the Insta- Instagram age or you can realize that this is a very old problem. It starts in childhood when our parents or relatives compare us to other people whether they are someone else's kids or our own siblings. If your parents or relatives constantly made you feel bad that you didn't match up to other people, I truly feel for you. Because they created a cage of low self-esteem and low self-worth that you'll find it hard to break out of unless you make a conscious choice to do it. You may have been told that your self-worth hinged on how many marks you got in school, Indian parents, I'm looking at you, how closely you matched society's conventional notions of beauty, how much money your parents made, what sort of house you lived in, what car your parents drove, how many famous or influential people you knew, and so on. When you're older, you'll realize that none of these things really matter. That the only thing that matters after all is the person you are and the life you create for yourself and for the people you love the most. In later life, most of us realize that it is the things in the list that follows that really matter. Are you being loving and respectful to yourself? Are your relationships with others loving and respectful? Are you growing and learning as a person? Are you doing what you truly love? Are you living a life of meaning and purpose? Are you contributing to the people and the world around you? Most people are lacking in one or more of these areas. This second list is on a very different vibration than the first list, but it is all that really matters. So stop comparing your life to other people's lives. Comparisons come from a place of scarcity, not from a belief in abundance. They come from jealousy and envy, a low vibration. If you're creating your life from a low vibration, even though you may get everything you want, you're likely to lose it all if you continue to operate from that vibration. When you realize that the most, that most rich and famous people are generous and giving by nature and that everything they have is because they believe in an abundant universe and create value for others, you will bless them for what they stand for. There's nothing spiritual or good in being poor. Because if you can't help yourself, you can't help anyone else. And there's nothing wrong with having expensive toys, especially when you've worked hard to earn them. So it's not fame or fortune that's the issue. It's why you need to believe that you need need those things to feel worthy. If you were taught to measure your self-worth by external factors, You can lose sight of what truly matters in your life. So ask yourself whether buying that flashy Ferrari is going to create a more meaningful life for you and your loved ones? Or are you doing it to prove it, to prove to other people who really couldn't care less, by the way, that you're better than them? If acquiring expensive toys brings you only fleeting pleasure, before you have to buy something else to fill up the void inside, you need to question your underlying motives. You need to ask yourself why you need all these things and you need to address the root of your pro- problem 
your feelings of low self-worth and low self-esteem. Does living in a bigger house equate to better family relationships and more harmony? Then go for it. But if you're doing it to prove to someone, someone else that you're better than them, don't bother. Because you'll realize that nobody but you cares about all the possessions you acquire to compensate for your feelings of inadequacy. You'll realize that even if you lose your beauty, your fame, your possessions and your money, what you'll have left is you and the people closest to you. So do you love the person you are? Do, do the people in your life return that love? Are you contributing to their lives in a meaningful way? If your answer is yes to all those questions, then you need nothing more. And everything you have over and above that is a bonus. Have you read that famous article called The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying about the pa findings of a palliative nurse who recorded the most common regrets of dying people and put her findings into a book of the same name? These top five regrets of the dying include wishing they had the courage to express their true feelings, wishing they had lived a life true to themselves, wishing they hadn't worked so hard, wishing they had stayed in touch with their friends, wishing they had let themselves be happier. Ultimately, the only thing that matters is what you believe about yourself and how you treat the ones you love. Everything else is fleeting and impermanent. So do what you need to do to make your life and the lives of, the love of your loved ones more meaningful, whether that means overcoming your troubled childhood, learning a new skill, changing your career, spending more time with your loved ones. Adapt your life, your goals and your expectations so that you can focus on what truly matters. Are you ready to transform into a diva, a woman who is proud to be herself, who is a fierce and fearless force for change? A diva is a woman who has come into her own power, who can change her life and the lives of everyone around her with clarity and compassion. My new course, Devi to Diva, will transform you from a Devi, a woman who conforms to society's expectations, to a Diva, someone who chooses to live life by her own values and ideals, who chooses what is right for her over what is expected of her. In this course, you learn how to throw off the shackles of your own limiting beliefs, rewrite your life story and design your destiny. You learn to stop measuring yourself by other people's expectations and accept yourself fully and completely for who you are and choose to be. You learn to tune into the unlimited potential you have to create and contribute. You learn to become fierce and fearless with a caring community of women who support you in becoming a powerful force for change. Are you ready to transform yourself from Devi to Diva? Go to devi to diva.com and get started.